Hello everybody and welcome to another fun knife Friday. Oh, we're gonna have fun today. Today we're gonna talk about the canoe pattern. But I gotta tell you, I'm having to improvise between life getting busy and dodging raindrops. It's been hard to, to uh, do a video outdoors. So I'm here in a neighboring uh, city's uh, park and behind us is the, the ball field. As a kid, I played at this diamond a couple times. And I gotta tell you, this is one of the parks where I thought I was going to get a home run. I mean, I hit it hard and went out to center field and it was just inches from being a homer. I think I ended up with a double out of that one. But So this little park here kind of gives me some, some good memories. So what we're going to talk about today and why it's going to be so fun is, well, you know I love channel collaborations. So I've partnered up with North Star Knife Reviews and Wasted Beer Money. Now, Wasted Beer Money has been commenting on some of my videos and he's very interested in traditional patterns. Wasted Beer Money, if you're familiar with his channel, he partners up a knife with a beer and he reviews them at the same time. And there's usually some sort of a connection between that knife and, and the beer name. So he asked me for a suggestion of partnering of a traditional knife pattern with a beer. And immediately what came to mind was the canoe pattern along with Ham's Beer. Now Ham's Beer is out of the land of sky blue water. That was their tagline uh, back in the 70s and 80s, watching their commercials. Of course, we're referring to Minnesota and the land of 10,000 lakes. So I just thought, you know, you think outdoors with Minnesota and canoeing on the lakes. So Ham's Beer and the canoe. So I'm gonna briefly go over the canoe pattern here. North Star Knife Reviews is gonna do a video on the history of Ham's beer. And then I have a knife, and I'll show you here in just a minute, I have a knife, that a canoe knife that I'm gonna to send to Wasted Beer Money so he can partner Ham's and the canoe uh, pattern knife together. I don't know when the uh, canoe pattern first came out, but it's safe to say it's probably at least a century old or over a hundred years old. And it kind of came out, uh, developed out of the equal end pocket knife. And what I have here, I have three um, canoes. Two here are buck and, and this is a case. So this is probably a, I guess you would say a standard size canoe. And this is one of bucks that you can purchase these in Walmart. And they're around 20 or $25 now. Prices keep going up. But this is a jigged bone. And I'll tell you what, I've carried this knife and I've used this knife and it came sharp. I mean, it was sharp. But the feature of the canoe knife is you have these two nice blades here. Double-ended jack. And of course, it gets its name, canoe pattern, because it looks like a canoe. And it just has nice, smooth lines makes it elegant looking with these curves here on the ends of so the curves of the canoe it uh, makes it makes it really easy to slide in and out of your pocket and it won't tear up your pocket near as bad as some of the other knives there's just really nothing protruding here to uh, catch on your pockets to tear it up so this is one of Buck's smooth bone jig smooth bone Made in China. All of Buck's canoes that I'm aware of are, are made in China. And then here's another one that I had gotten. And it's just a wood grain. But again, you have these nice wide blades. These are very handy knives. Now they come out with a... There's another... Uh, smaller version of a canoe it's a canoe pattern but it's real small and they call them a butter bean and case's name for it is a baby butter bean of course this one here is out of the ictus collection and uh boy this is this is an excellent little fifth pocket knife i'll tell you fits right in and again because it's smooth and doesn't tear up anything it's easy to get to you can see the long, long uh, poles on it. Just a fantastic little knife. A 
I just really like these uh, canoes. I need to get more of them. Yes, sir. -y. Careful, don't cut yourself. <laughs> it's been mentioned. There's been some uh, host hosts of uh, knife channels been cutting themselves recently. So <laughs> I'm trying to be extra special, careful here. So those are the three canoes I have. I've had another one and I gave it away. So what I'm going to do here is, is I've purchased this canoe pattern from Marbles. And I thought about, you know, opening it up and, and showing it to you, but I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to leave it untouched in its packaging. I haven't looked at it. And it's a, it's a smooth white bone. And I'm going to get this in the mail to Wasted Beer Money. I'm going to let him have his initial impressions when he opens this box. One thing I like about marbles is their box here. Very nice box. So, oh yeah, this is model number MR580. And I think this is a, a brand that's exclusive to Smoky Mountain Knife Works, if I am correct. So these are still available. So in next, until next time, um, everyone have a very delightful day. And I can't wait to see North Star Knife Reviews video on the Ham's Beer. And I can't wait for, wait, wait for Wasted Beer Money to get this knife and do his review of the knife and the beer at the same time. So take care, everybody.